out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Hey, and welcome to Adventures by D. Today we're in, where are we, Dave? We're in the new Braves Stadium, Truist Park. And we're donning our appropriate national champion, although we've had this for years, gear. And we're gonna take you on a tour of the stadium. It's 90 minutes long, it costs $20 a person, and they do it year round. So join us on what, Dave? Join us on this Atlanta Braves World Champion adventure. We just parked in the red deck. This is the deck that's attached almost to Truist Park here. It's awesome if you can park here. As a part of the tour, David read you supposedly get three hours of parking, so we will see. But normally when we come to a game, we actually park in this deck. It can be 40 or $50 for it, but it's literally the most convenient deck to park in. And it's really cool, they have a ton of condos around here there's a hotel and there's a ton of eateries and they keep building more and more and there it is the stadium is literally right there tons of little shops and stuff playing music down here. But Punch Bowl Social. That's a great place to go. They have games and food. We've eaten here before. The Yard House. They have these in several cities. It's pretty awesome. And yes, you can get a yard of beer there. We have not, but Good food. Here we go, we're coming up on the stadium. So the Atlanta Braves have been in three locations in Atlanta. One was at the Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. That is where Hank Aaron hit his famous home run. And then they built Turner Field, basically in the parking lot of Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. And that was where the 1996 Olympics was housed. It's where the opening and closing ceremonies were. And uh, where track and field was. And they were there for 20 years. And then the Atlanta Braves wanted to have more um, control of all the areas around the stadium. They wanted to have all these eateries and places. And uh, Fulton County wouldn't let them have it, the city of Atlanta. So they left because they were in Tom County. in for our tour. You meet back there and they scan you in. And we're getting ready to go to security. Let's do it. Here we go on the tour of Truist Park, home of the national champion, Atlanta Braves. It's a 90 minute tour. They have several tours a day. How much are tickets, Dave, for the tour? 
Uh, they're twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. You get a discount if you're on the Braves A list, and probably if you're a season ticket holder. $20. And they do it all times of the year, not just before games. But we're heading up here. So, what areas are we supposed to see on this tour? Well, we're going to see the clubhouse, which I'm excited. We're going to see a couple of the uh, decks, a couple of the uh, club levels, and some special awards they've won. I think the Hall of Fame, too. Awesome. And we're heading up another level. But this is where we hold our park in the park or have parties of 300 or our silent disco tech and such as that. The Bach Park itself is... Um, 40,000 seats, it's smaller than Turner Field by about 10,000. However, up here we have 14,000 parking spaces as opposed to the 8,000 down there, and 14 ways to get onto two highways instead of two ways to get to one highway. So the in and out uh, of coming and going is a lot easier here. We are here on New Year's Eve, and they have set up fireworks for tonight. Here's the Omni Hotel. We'll have to stay in that one time. The Xfinity rooftop zone here. I learned some facts I hadn't known. The Atlanta Braves is the oldest continuously operating Major League Baseball franchise. It's 150 years old. And they built the stadium, which I did know for a lot of socialization, so they have a lot of areas where you can get together and hang out. We are heading over to the press box now. Got a great vantage point of the area around here and the stadium. Cool tour. Now as we walk, I'll tell you that this is the third location the Atlanta Braves have been in, in Atlanta. We are in Cobb County, and they moved here like three years ago, and the Braves wanted more control of stores and eateries and really having an event outside of the stadium, and the city of Atlanta and Fulton County would not give them the area outside of Turner Field, so which is where the Olympics was held. And so they moved. They called Bluff and they actually picked up and moved to here. Um, it's a nice stadium. I actually really like Turner Field. Went to several games there. You could get upper field. When I first moved here, you can get upper field tickets, upper deck tickets for $5, and then became $8. I think this tour would be awesome to do on a game day before a game to be able to come in and tour the stadium and then. To go to a game here that would be like two thumbs up it's interesting to come here it's a full tour there's a bunch of families here today but to come in the off season also is kind of interesting because it's so popular of course winning a world series doesn't hurt right but it's fun to see everything that's here Chip are going to be in booth three. 680 the fan broadcast from booth four. The sports radio network here in Braves Country covers more than 150 radio stations in the southeast, uh, south and southeast, and is the largest radio network in sports radio in Major League Baseball. The windows, you see a room that has shades. That's the nerve center of our ballpark on game days. In there, we have 30 technicians and an organist who will take requests via the hashtag group who operate everything that goes on outside of the game. 
So that would include 32 large-scale TV screens on the outside. The biggest one across the way is 65 by 120 feet. It has eight and one half million LED lights in it to bring you high-definition TV in that scale. And cost for $1.1 million six years ago when we installed it here in, in the stadium. Up above the cow, you see on those two light standards, all the pennants, the team has won in its 150-year um, career here in, in the baseball world. The white ones were when we were a wild card qualifier for the playoffs. The light blue, we won the division. Dark blue, we won the National League. And the red ones, the four red ones, are World Series pennants. There was one in Boston, one in Milwaukee, and now two here in Atlanta. <laughs> Our next stop is going to be the Hank Aaron Terrace. I'm going to show you one of the most uh, uh, valuable artifacts in all of the sporting world. The retired numbers that you see in red and the one in white are for all of the players that are retired, so those numbers are no longer worn. And for those of you young and that are not familiar with Jackie Robinson, every team in Major League Baseball has, has retired it, and that's why that one's white. They only wear it on one day a year. Everybody wears it on April 15th. The honor of the first African American to play Major League Baseball. Right. Here we go now. We're heading down, leaving the press box area. I wonder what's next. The kids on the tour are very excited. They can't wait to see the clubhouse, which is probably everybody's thing that they're looking most forward to. Now we've walked down the ramps to the terrace level. These are some nice seats. If you can afford them, nice. And of course the lower levels where it's at. We're going into the Hank Aaron Terrace area. Have we ever been in here? No, I have not. We in the in seven, the other stadium. It's called the 755 Club and uh, Turner Field. Looks very familiar. And a date against uh, on which Hank Aaron hit one of the 715 home runs, the big, big, great Babe Ruth's all-time record. Then there's mahogany ones and natural ones. And behind that, the photograph, Al Downing serving up that home run ball. And when you do that. Uh, that had as much as fifty thousand dollars in their pocket just to purchase the ball right there, right then. The bat is a thirty-five inch, thirty-three ounce Louisville Slugger, and is the only size and weight of bat Hank ever used in his entire professional career. Unlike many players that fiddle with a different weight or a different length or an axe handle or whatever, that's the only one he ever used. It's valued at between seven and a half and nine million dollars and is insured for 15. We're heading into the Infinity Club area. As Dave would say, very, very nice. This is our Infinity Club. This is the club that took the place of the seven. Down there, you just need an upgrade on your ticket to gain access to the club. But here it is a subscription club, and it has 24 luxury suites, and they're going to the biggest one in a crowd like this. It has 88 four top tables, which is a very popular venue for families, as well as 1,200 stadium seats. And here we go. Oh, look at all these golden gloves. Look at this. Jason Hayward. I'm looking for um, Andrew Jones. There you go. Greg Maddox. Golly, look how many Andrew Jones won. That is crazy. And Greg Maddox. Wow, so like half of these in this case are either Andrew Jones or Greg Maddox. I gotta catch up with the tour. All the managers, Braves history. Oh, more over here. Do you guys 
always have a favorite manager. My years are the Bobby Cox years since moving to Atlanta. Cy Young Awards. Dave, this area is very, very nice. It is very nice. Yes. This is where the beautiful people live. There you can see the Chick-fil-A cow. Look right here. Can you see him right there? We got Warren Spawn. We've got Warren Spawn. Tom Glavin. Greg Maddox, John Smoltz, and Tom Glavin. Look at that. Wow. Look at all the years. It's hard to do this, by the way. Film on the door, not include the other people. So if this isn't a little rough, you'll understand. Rookie of the year. Raphael for call. You remember him, Dave? Yes, I do. David Justice. Also, Raphael for call. We uh, always joked he was a very old young guy. David Justice. Raphael for call. Craig Kimbrell. Acuna. Look at all these new hitters. You and Dale Murphy are buds, aren't you? We are buds. This is old school Braves right here. Yes, look at that. All right, let's go catch up with the tour. Okay. Okay, we just ran because <laughs> the whole tour had gone past us. Not, there's too many families, not enough time to get the pictures you want. You gotta like hurry up. With the smallest of 48 at the largest, so that's why we didn't hit one of the ones that belong the way because we wouldn't all be out here if we had. There are 24 uh, in the Infinity Club, 12 down below in the Champion Suites, and six more over in the Conference Center over there. All of these suites are corporately leased except for three. One, this one, one of the medium sized, and one of the small ones. So if you wanted to have, for the small one, bring a dozen friends for your next birthday party, that uh, Wednesday night Marlins game would run you about, <laughs> you'll hear that again, I'm sure, 20, about $2,600. Because if it were going to be, say, the Phillies on a Friday night, now you're talking about 10. Wow. See you at the Marlins game. Yeah, see you at the Marlins game, is what I, what I understand. Take me out to the ball game, take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back, let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. We're going to walk through and see some of the memorabilia and jerseys throughout the years and the retired numbers of some of the most famous Atlanta Braves. Right here, we have different jerseys on display, get all around both records. 1904 Boston Bean Eaters jersey. 1914 Boston Braves jersey. 1935 Babe Ruth, Austin Braves. Nineteen thirty-seven Tony Piccinello, Austin Bees. Nineteen fifty-seven Milwaukee Braves. Yeah, I can't sign up. I can't sign up. 1969, Hank Aaron, Atlanta Braves. 1974, Ralph Gard, Atlanta Braves. 
1976 Phil Negro, Atlanta Braves. 1982 Dale Murphy, Atlanta Braves. And 1995 Tom Glavin, Atlanta Braves. MVP awards here. Freddie Freeman, the most recent. Chippo Jones. Cy Young winners. Silver Sluggers. Golden Gloves. Was it Gold Gloves? I always thought it was Golden Gloves. And Rookie of the Year. All together here. We saw a lot of that in the Infinity Zone. And they have like the history of the Braves all the way. To many people on the tour, it's kind of hard to see. We have walked through here before. You can just come through this area during a game, before a game, and see all this for yourself. Matter of fact, almost everything we've seen, with the exception of the press box and the infinity boxes, which you'd need to be a part of the boxes, you can see. This is great from the 1995 World Series, the final out in the champagne bottle. <laughs> the autograph of Tom Gavin. That's hysterical. I think they'll need to update this with their last most recent national championship, huh? Hank Aaron hits his 715th home run. That's, this is a reproduction of his jersey. A 1957 World Series ring. Cool. And a World Series glove. Here are the World Champion banners. 1914 Boston Braves. 1957 Milwaukee Braves. 1995 Atlanta Braves. And soon to come when they unveil it, the 2020 Atlanta Braves. They'll have to unveil it though. Oh my goodness. No, it'll be. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it will be. Sorry. 2021 Atlanta Braves. Wow, look at that. I didn't realize how big it was. Look how big the World Series trophy is. This is from 1995. The Braves had a screensaver this year on Christmas that had Christmas music in a fireplace and you could enjoy it. And guess what was on it? The World Champion Trophy. And then I'm going to show you 2021's version. It's different. Look at that. Wow, look at that. These are people in the Braves Hall of Fame, and the Braves Hall of Fame was created in 1999. Don Sutton, Pete Van Warren, Hank Aaron, oh my goodness, Andrew Jones, John Sherholtz, who is the manager, the vice chairman, president, and general manager. Warren Spawn, Phil Negro, so many famous names here. Wow. Tom Glavin, Greg Maddox, Bobby Cox, John Smoltz, Chippo Jones, Javi Lopez, Skip Carey. Wow. Amazing. While we're in here, I'd like to point out the specific jerseys on that wall, because they're all from the third quarter of the 20th century. But the blue one is the away jersey from the 1974 team, the year that Hank broke Babe Ruth's record. 
And if you get up close to it, you'll see it has a genuine hank or an autograph on it. The next one, Phil Necro, along the way with the pinstripes, was a, a team member with Hank. They both passed away within six days of each other in January of this year. Two days earlier, Don Sutton passed away. So we had kind of a bad week and a day there going into starting this season off. So we kind of uh, consider Hank as our uh, angel in the outfield, as we had number 44 in the middle of the outfield all season and has honored and dedicated the season to him. Eddie Matthews over there down the way. Um, I always point him out as for those of you that are Ron Acuna fans, that is the player that Ron Acuna was being compared to in his rookie season. The 1921 Boston Braves jersey. 1915 Boston Braves jersey. The 1907 Boston Doves jersey. There's a directory. When you buy tickets, you see all these different levels. Uh, the original statue, by the way, has been sent to Tiffany's to take all that off. Right here. That's the backup. We are about to go into the clubhouse area and they just said you only get to come in here when the players are not here. Wow, so if anyone's in here working out or anything, you cannot go in. So this is awesome. Here we go. This is the main reason you want to go on this tour. waiting to get to see the clubhouse. Look at this clubhouse. Holy cow. Wow. That is awesome. Heading down to look at the batting cages. The tour is so full. You have to wait a while to get your turn here. Oh, wow. This is awesome. It's like inside. That is so cool. Look, mirror. Look at this. It's interesting, right? It's like under the stadium. They have netting and they have like insulation for sound. That is so cool. Wow. And then the silver sluggers. We're going back up now. That is Freddie's favorite video game. We do, however, have every video game published since 1970. Today, available for 44 walnut lockers. Here's information on their uniform policy. Look at that. Knock the locker on the left of the doorway to bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> Dining. When we were designing this space, we were we actually solicited player input to find out what they need, want, or like. Number one on their list was that they had sufficient USB ports to power all of their devices. So each of those lockers is furnished with four ships too. And just to be fair, all the visitors have two. You want to be a bat boy? You have your own locker room. This is hydrotherapy up here. The cold bath, cold tubs, hot baths. This treadmill uh, over here is kind of trick because it's uh, once you get moving on it, it will lower into a pool of water for hydro resistance. If uh, you're still doing well against just the water, it will incline until you meet your perspective. Here's a different view of the clubhouse. Wow. Well, you know, I kind of 
How special is this that you can't come if any of the players are here? So, oh, yeah, they said this was like hydrotherapy and all that, all the tubs. Training room. Wow. Here we go. Here was the original Atlanta Fulton County Stadium, and then Turner Field, where the Olympics was also held. There's more of the training room. Yeah, there's a They'll be adding a lot more to these walls after this year. Oh, here's the gym. so much to look at. X-ray room. They have their own X-ray room. Makes sense. <laughs> and all the National League championships and World Series championships. We're coming, we're coming. This is the clubhouse. You wouldn't even know. Like there's not a big sign or anything. Wow. So they built this press conference room at the request of Major League Baseball so they could host an all-star game. And it was uh, canceled this year here in Atlanta. So these are those seats like below field that you see from up high. I've always wondered what it was like down here. Now we get to know. Oh wow.
in here, get a bite to eat, or upstairs. And you can go anywhere in the outfield and get landing practice from follow pole to follow pole. Once the other gates are open, I'm going to do our first pitch. You can go anywhere in the ballpark. On Saturday nights, three hours before first pitch, you're going to have to go everywhere in the ballpark and watch landing practice. Saturday, uh, Sundays and Fridays, two hours. The really big crowd days, and we have a sellout for you to look at all of them as well. So step out into the plaza. Here's the Atlanta Brew Lab for Terrapin Brewing. So cool, you see the Comcast building right out here. H&F Burger, the Omni Hotel is right here. The kids can play the games. There's the cow. Rare, you barely see anybody on the green. Dave, what did you think of the I tour? Lo I loved it. I learned so much about the ballpark that I didn't know. I know. It was actually really good. And of course, the highlights going in the clubhouse I mean, and seeing the underground batting cages. Also, going in the Coors Light area where you see underground where there's seating that we've seen for, for years. It's cool to see that too. Going to the club level, which we haven't been in yet. Since yeah, the, the small infinity parts. club level. Yeah, the yes. infinity club is very nice. Yes, very nice. If anyone wants to invite us to a game, we'll definitely That's right. take you up on that yes. one to go into one of those suites. Anything else? No, it was great to uh, learn more about a hometown team, the Braves. See more of the stadium and uh, be on the lookout for more Braves content. We cover everything in Atlanta, in addition to theme parks all over the U.S. That's right. And with that, make sure uh, if you enjoy the content today, give us a thumbs up. If you're new, welcome. Consider subscribing if you enjoy this kind of content. And leave a comment on, on uh, are you a Braves fan? Are you follow another team? Uh, let us know. Leave a comment. Hey, 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 hey. One, two, two, and may two. the adventures be with you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing a bell. So you'll be notified of our next upload. And as always, may the adventures be with you.